if your remote control has stopped activating the central locking and alarm like mine has and you cannot start the engine because it won't switch off the immobiliser what you need is the emergency key access code or EKA this is a four digit code number that you can use to bypass the immobiliser using the key in the driver's door lock to enter the code first of all you need to open and then close the driver's door then let's just say the code was one two three four what you should do is first of all lock the door then if the first number is number one you should turn the key to the unlock position the required number of times to match that number so in this case once one then you should turn it to the lock position the required number of times to match that number so in this case two one two then again turn it to the unlock position the amount of times to match the third number one two three and finally turn it to the lock position the number of times to match the fourth number so in this case four one two three four now we have just entered an incorrect code so when we finish off we just unlock the car you can hear it beep that's because we've entered the wrong code and if we just try that the immobiliser is still on you get three chances to enter the code otherwise if you enter three incorrect codes you have to wait 30 minutes before you can try again so this time let us say that the correct code for this car is 6789 so again open and close the driver's door put the key in and lock the car then with the code 6789 we need to turn the key first to the unlock then to the lock then to the unlock then to the lock position the required number of times so let's do that 6789 so here goes one two three four five six and to the lock position one two three four and turn it to the unlock position one two three four and finally turn it to the lock position nine times one two three four seven eight nine and then unlock the door now this time it's not beeped if we open the door the mobile light has gone out then we try and start the car there we go we bypassed the immobiliser now we shouldn't have to enter that code again as long as each time when we finish with the car we just put the key in and we lock the car with the key and then that will be okay and it will I'll just show you now just let that immobiliser settle down immobiliser settle down now if I put the key in unlock it open the car up it will start again each time until you use the remotes and get them working again and then it will go back to the remotes the only thing is if you do close your car and forget to lock the door with the key the immobiliser after about 30 seconds will come on of its own accord and if it does it means the next time you get in the car you've got to then enter the code in the driver's door lock with the key once more thanks bye